Hi, and thank you for watching. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Amy Horneman, and I specialize in treating thyroid conditions, hormone disorders, and basically fixing people. So today I want to briefly talk about fluoride. This is a topic that has been coming up in the thyroid support groups. It's a topic that I go over with all of my patients of how important it is to switch out your fluoride toothpaste for not just you, but the entire family. So as it relates to the thyroid, there have been many, many studies done, and we're going to go over a few of those that show that the use of fluoride will diminish thyroid function and can actually cause hypothyroidism. The reason being back in the 30s, I believe it was, 30s or 50s, I'm gonna have to check on that for you, 1950s, we started using fluoride as an anti-thyroid treatment. This is before methamazole came out. We were using fluoride to bring down thyroid function in those with Graves' disease or hyperthyroidism. So instead of using a drug to reduce the activity of the thyroid, we actually started using fluoride. So there actually is a study. I'm going to bring this up for you. Um, da, da, da. Doctors selected fluoride as a thyroid suppressant based on findings linking fluoride to goiter. And as predicted, fluoride therapy did reduce thyroid activity in the treated patients. This was a study done in 69, 58, and 1937. Moreover, according to clinical research, the fluoride dose capable of reducing thyroid function was notably low, just two to five milligrams per day over several months. The dose is well within the range of what individuals living in fluorinated communities are now estimated to receive on a regular basis. So not only is fluoride still in our drinking water, but when you are brushing your teeth with a fluoride toothpaste, it's here, thyroid is here. Think about the connection and most likely you are getting that two to five milligram dose of fluoride on a daily basis if you brush your teeth twice a day right? Common sense. So fluoride and hypothyroidism. One study showed that higher levels of fluoride in drinking water provide a useful contribution for predicting the prevalence of hypothyroidism. The study says that we found that pra practices located in the West Midlands, a wholly fluorinated area, are nearly twice as likely to report high hypothyroidism prevalence in comparison to Greater Man Manchester. This was tested in Britain. But I know in my area, this is the goiter belt. We're up in the Great Lakes region. And spanning the Great Lakes, there is high, high incidence of goiter and hypothyroidism. I see it locally. Of course, I work with patients across the US and in different countries. But in this region, I see a high prevalence of hypothyroidism. The other thing worth noting is that fluoride actually will increase TSH levels and decrease T3 levels. So here you are struggling to get T3 into your cell, to get your T3, your free T3 levels up into an optimal range. If you don't know what that optimal range is, you can go to my website at amyhorneman.com and download the lab and symptom checklist. That will give you the lab ranges, the optimal lab ranges for all of the thyroid labs, but especially free T3 needs to be 3.5 five or above. If you're struggling to get there, you're on T3 medication. We keep going up in your dose. You feel that you have maybe T3 resistance or thyroid cell resistance at the cell level. It's just not getting in. Maybe it's something that you are actually doing. Maybe you are brushing your teeth with fluoride toothpaste every single day. And believe me, there are many other contributing factors like the mercury in our mouth and other toxins that we're exposed to. But just this one little simple thing, fluoride in your toothpaste can decrease your free T3 levels and increase your TSH levels. So it's something to think about, right? Something to think about. Okay, I wanna do one more here. Fluoride has been shown to exacerbate the impact of iodine deficiency. Now we know that we, iodine is that Goldilocks mineral. We need it right in that beautiful mid range. It'd be a little bit higher than mid but we don't want it too high, we don't want it too low. We do not want an iodine deficiency because that will exacerbate hypothyroidism as well. And iodine is absolutely critical 
to pregnant women, for children, because it contributes to neurological conditions such as autism and ADHD. So now we are tying fluoride to lower IQ and a higher prevalence of autism and ADHD. Women who are low in iodine during pregnancy are also at higher risk for having a child with neurological developmental delays, um, neurological conditions, and of course, a higher risk of autism as well. So very, very important to avoid fluoride across the board. You want to take it out of your kids' teeth regimen, dental regimen, because that will impact their learning capabilities and lower their IQ. If you are planning on getting pregnant or you are pregnant, you want to remove fluoride toothpaste immediately. You want to make sure that you are filtering your drinking water since there is a high incidence of fluorinated drinking water still in our society, even though we are now acknowledging the effects of fluoride and how we don't need it in our drinking water to protect our teeth. We do not need fluoride treatments at the dentist and you do not need fluoride toothpaste in your mouth twice a day. So get rid of it. There's plenty of fluoride-free options out there. You will be doing yourself a huge favor, whether you are diagnosed or not diagnosed with hypothyroidism. For us that do have it, we can tell you, you don't want it. It's not fun. For those of you who are diagnosed, do something to help yourself get more optimized. And for your family, get rid of the fluoride toothpaste period, end of story. If you need more help, you can always reach out to me. You can go to my website at amyhorneman.com. You can contact me through Facebook. I would love to chat with you and see if I can help you further just to live your best life, get your life back and get optimized. Okay. Thanks for watching.